Welcome to Lesson 13, Introducing 3D. Now you can do all sorts of 3D things in Photoshop CS4, which is incredible. I'm going to go ahead and choose Launch Bridge and open up a start file. And in this case, I'm opening up PS1301 from the PS13 Lessons file. And I open this up and I pull out my Layers panel and you'll see that there are all sorts of layers here. Now, typically when you want to take advantage of the 3D feature, you'll see a menu item down here and it will say new layer from 3D file, new shape from layer. So in other words, I could do um, something 3D to each one of these separate layers or what if I want to apply the 3D feature to all of those layers. I can select the top layer and then hold down my shift key and select the bottom layer and I can right click on the PC or control click on the Mac and choose convert all these layers to one smart object. And what I've got here now is one layer. Now it's not really one layer because that whole other file has been embedded inside of here. So if I were to double click on this, I could open up and make changes to this particular file still, even into the individual adjustments. Close that, go back to this original file. But now what I have the ability to do is to take this one layer and choose 3D, new shape from layer, and I can choose a cone, cube, cylinder, donut, pyramid, ring, soda can. Voila. So there I go. I've converted this into a 3D object. How do I know it's 3D? First of all, look in the lower right hand corner. I've got this little cube indicating that this is a 3D layer. I can also take advantage of the new 3D rotate tools and click and drag and spin this around so that I can see different sides of this as well. So relatively easy to create this and of course like I was saying before you could always double click and open this up if you want to move the text, reposition it, maybe lighten the image a little bit. I'm going to take it a little bit further right now with the 3D tools though. So I am going to double click on that little 3D icon that's in the layers panel and up pops a panel called 3D scene and if I scroll down there's all sorts of choices that I can take advantage of. Let me pull this down a little bit. Oh, we'll scroll this way. Like for instance I can see the um, label turn off or on. I can change the lighting. So if I go into my lighting perhaps for infinite light 2 for instance I can make it more intense. Maybe I want to brighten it that way. I can even click on this little button up here to the left of infinite and choose with that highlighted to move the lighting around as well. And you'll see that that's also reflected when I spin the can using the rotate tools. Okay, all very easy actually and very fun to do. But what if I also, I'm creating this as a comp for a client and I want to show them in a really unique way this can spinning. Okay, so I'm going to kind of combine this with an animation feature. I am choosing window animation. Up pops my timeline. Notice, I'm going to pull this up. It might cover my image a bit, but I want you to be able to see this. Notice that when I turn the arrow down on this particular layer that I can choose all of the items that I can animate and it's really simple. Watch carefully. I choose that I only want to animate the 3D object position. I check it while my current time marker is back at the zero mark. I can pull or drag this over to three. Take my rotate tool and say about here I want it to spin like this and we're just roughly grabbing this. Okay, so what I've got at this point, if I were to play this, you'll see that I've already got this can spinning in this animation. Now if I want to speed this up, I can move this keyframe over a bit so that it's moving a little bit more quickly. There we go. So quick little easy animation. Now what if I wanted to go back the way it came? I'm going to stop this by using my little stop button on my animation panel. I'm going to take this keyframe and I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go about over to here, maybe the three mark, 
and from the panel menu I'm going to choose paste my keyframe and now what I have is I click on this I've got it spinning around okay customer there's your label you want to see it again let's go back the way we came and here we go really simple now I'm pressing stop again and Photoshop has so kindly even provided you the opportunity to export or render your video so by choosing file export render video you can now take this and you'll have several choices like for instance you could take this and export it as a QuickTime movie or FLC, 3G, AVI, MPEG, even going into the settings to make a, additional adjustments to this on the way out. So lots of things you can do with this and basically uh, the example here was just taking a 3D file and animating it but you can use this for simple package designs as well.